everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. It has been reported that the rapper Remy Ma is currently being investigated by the police for allegedly punching another rapper named Britney Taylor. The incident took place on Tuesday night at a benefit concert at the Irvin Plaza. During the event, Remy and Britney had a confrontation over Remy's stepdaughter, Dejanay. Now it has been reported that Dejanay was attacked a few weeks ago and Remy felt like Britney was behind the attack. So Remy stepped up to her and said, what's good? And Britney was like, what you mean? What you talking about? I don't know if those were the actual words, but y'all get the point. They did exchange some words and the situation escalated from there to the point that Remy punched Britney in her eye. Britney went on social media and let the whole world know that Remy punched her and she said this. So here I am on my way to a very important meeting and it's hard to even focus because of what occurred last night. I didn't want to bring it to social media because it's pretty embarrassing and not a good look to be honest. I tried my best to cover it up with makeup and move on but that still didn't work. My question is Remy Ma why did you really do this? What happened to women empowerment? Hashtag black love shake my head. Now, Britney obviously did this to put Remy on blast, and she not only exposed Remy, but she also went to the police and filed a report against her. Now, there hasn't been any charges filed or any arrests made just yet, but Remy Ma is currently under investigation, and this right here is not a good look for Remy because Remy is still on parole. If you don't know, back in 2007, Remy was arrested for shooting her friend, Makita Barnes Joseph, after accusing her of stealing $1,000. Remy Ma went to jail and she served six years in prison and she got out in 2014. And since then she has been on parole and this was actually her last year on parole. She was supposed to get off in August. However, this incident right here can really put Remy into some serious trouble because she can be found guilty of violating parole by being involved in a physical altercation with this girl named Brittany. Now I'm sure some of y'all are thinking, why on earth would Remy risk her freedom again over this little girl here? Now we don't really know the full details of this story, but apparently Remy felt like Brittany knew something about her stepdaughter, Dejanay, getting attacked. Now, I do believe that Remy was provoked because I don't believe that Remy would risk it all like this over something simple. There's definitely more layers to this story. And also one thing to note is Remy and Britney do have a history. They both are on the reality show Love and Hip Hop New York. And last year during the reunion, Remy actually checked Britney because Britney was out here running her mouth, talking smack and trying to instigate fights with one of the other cast members, Bianca. And Remy was like, you can't be provoking people like that. Like, you can't say when I see you, I'm gonna drag you because then I wanna fight. I said, when I see you, I'm gonna drag her, that's a guaranteed fact. You can't make threats to people. You can't say anything, and then when something happens to you, cry the victim. What I want you to do, and this is me just being the realest that I can be to you, stop playing these social media games. People get hurt I'm every day it. from playing on social media. Now, as you can see, Remy was trying to school her and let her know you can't be throwing shade at people on social media and then turn around and play the victim when people confront you. Now, Brittany Taylor clearly did not take Remy's advice. In fact, she was upset that Remy checked her on the reunion, so she started throwing shade at Remy. Now, the Petty Blog actually caught an Instagram Live video that Brittany did, and in her video, she called Remy a man. Here we go, underscore Remy. Ugh, you gotta go. You gotta get the f out of here, your bad ass energy. Bye. Go to that man page. Now go to that man page. Now go to that man page. Now man page. On mine. Get off mine. When one of Remy's fans called out Britney and said she wanted to be like Remy, Britney replied and said, Why would I want to be an old villain? Shut up. I'm good being me. Also, Britney did a freestyle where she kind of took a jab at some women who shoot people. And as we all know, Remy did serve time in prison for shooting her friend. 
And where I'm from ain't no way to solve shit involving no guns. And where I'm from ain't no way to solve shit involving no guns. So as you can see, Britney has been taking some shots at Remy for some time now. And it's all because she was salty that Remy checked her on the reunion. So this kind of seems like this has been a pattern for Britney. She throws shade on social media and tries to instigate things. And when people confront her, she suddenly turns into the victim. And you have to understand she is only 4'10". So in her mind, she thinks she's big and bad. But in reality, she's just a little girl who's all bark and no bite. Britney, you're 4'10", baby. What does that mean? That means that you're really four little. Ten with the that's what that means. I don't care. It's kind of impossible to be with the when you're 410. Now, unfortunately, little Britney got punched in the face by Remy Ma after they had a confrontation. Now, little Britney, of course, went to the police and snitched on Remy, and now the NYPD is probing Remy. And I think it's really unfortunate that it had to happen this way, but I will say this. I think that Remy should have known better. She should have known better than to get in a fight with anyone. Well, let me not jump to conclusions just yet. We don't have the surveillance footage just yet, so we'll see what really happens. But if Remy did fight this girl and punch her in the eye, I will just say this. I personally feel like Remy was provoked, I do, and I still wanna get more of the backstory to this, but I think that Remy should have never allowed herself to get in this type of situation. Remy already has a record for attempted murder, okay? She had to serve time in prison and be away from her family, her son, and her man, Papoose, for six years, okay, six years. When she got out of prison, she had to be on parole for five years. Now, when you're on parole, there are very strict guidelines for you to follow. And Remy actually broke this down while she was on the reel. So you can't just wake up and be like, oh, I wanna go on vacation to Hawaii tomorrow. No, I can't. Forget vacation, I can't even, someone could call like, hey Ram, we have 100,000 for you to come over here and do, I can't just be like, yes, I accept it. I have wow. to wait and be like, Get hold on, let me see Does if I can go first. Time? No, not really, unless it's like international, which I've been having a hard time getting. Mm -hmm. I have yet to leave the country. I've had, I had the, one of the biggest songs and I couldn't leave. I was stuck wow. here. So when, once you put yourself in the path of the people and of the system, yeah. your life is not your and life you have anymore. to watch who you're hanging around, too. I can't, I can't, be, I can't be around other people that has been in things. I can't be around people that are smoking. I can't drink. People be like, you know, even I don't drink anyway. Mm -hmm. But people be surprised. I'm like, I'm not even allowed to drink at all. They're like, Really? Why? Wow. Wow. You, you're not allowed. You can't go and have a glass of wine. I have to be in the house by 11 p.m. <gasps> wow. You have a curfew? As you can see, those are some very strict rules that she has to follow. And if she's found guilty of violating parole, there are a few things that could happen. It's possible that she might receive a warrant for her arrest. It's also possible that her parole may be revoked and she might have to go back to prison and serve the remainder of her original sentence. Or she might be ordered to spend additional time on parole and she might have to pay a fine. These are just some of the things that might happen for Remy in this case, and that's only if she's found guilty of parole violation. So this is a very serious situation for Remy, and it's really sad because Remy has built an amazing life for herself ever since she has gotten out of prison. She got married to a good man, Papoose, you know, he held her down when she was in jail. She also gave birth to a beautiful baby girl and her career is doing great. She's still making music. She's on two reality shows on VH1, Meet the Mackies and Love and Hip Hop New York. She's also on the show State of the Culture, which is on Revolt TV. Not only that, she has her own clothing line and her own little boutique as well. So she's doing a lot of things, a lot of great things in her life. And it's a shame that she allowed herself to get in this position because she has a lot to lose. Like she has a whole family, a whole baby that she has to take care of and she has to be present for. So she really can't afford to be violating her parole and risking going back to jail. That's just not smart at all but i am hoping for the best for remy because i don't want to see her go back to jail that'll be terrible 2019 has been a mess already if remy goes back to jail that would just be horrible 
Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!